The only thing that's missing from Kerrigan is being able to lay down creep tumors. That would be sick. <laughs> Oh, forgot about the resource center, or research center. I know it got me the worst unit in the game, continuously. Every five minutes I got one unit. Actually, not, not even, I think I only got two. And it's been twice, god. Synergy really does not like bonus objectives, man. Okay, I actually don't have a lot of money anymore. These Protoss units outrange my lurkers. Ooh. Which I don't appreciate. I might be in some trouble, guys. I'm not sure what the best way of playing this mission even is. I had so much money, but I had no idea what to buy. Void race. So I maxed out in upgrades. Okay. If I lose this though, I guess we'll have a better understanding of what I should be playing. I'm not entirely sure what I should be playing. Well, that's unfortunate. Uh, I have never had StarCraft II crush like that before. I was just about to win this. This was going flawless. Didn't even run into any problems yet. Wow, dude. This is what you want to do to me, StarCraft? Okay, you believe it. It was my first try and everything. Didn't even run into any issues. I tried using Kerrigan's mend ability and then somehow everything broke. <laughs> Luck was probably your computer. Throw it all away, build a new one. I agree. They just announced some new uh, CPUs, right? I think what I needed, my computer wouldn't have crashed, was if I had like a, was it 7950X or something? Whatever they called that. Yeah, that's what I needed. I need a 4090 and a 7950X. That's clearly what I need. All right, dark skies. Here we go again. No, I'm fine with my current computer. Whenever new hardware gets announced, though, I do always think that I yeah, that, that really would be nice. We get to see Leon on stream again. Yeah, I did build my previous. Well, Leon did build my previous computer while I was in the room. I was originally gonna say we built it together, but that everyone knows that wasn't fair. Leon actually moved to the south of the Netherlands, or at the very least, he's gonna do that very soon, man. He is gonna be awfully close to Belgium. I know. He's gonna be very close to Belgium soon. Dangerous. Dangerous. Very dangerous. Um, I think I'm gonna go Impalers. I think Mass Impaler is probably gonna be pretty good. I don't know about Swarm Host, though. Swarm Host are pretty bad. When they're fully burrowed, they can be quite decent.
I'll get. Hey, oh yeah, frenzy. Brute lords also definitely a good idea. Yeah. No, I don't think anti air on the swarmos is very nice. Cloak is usually a bit better. Maybe I'm mistaken though. Okay. I will continue doing passive care again. We'll get that. Mend is really nice. Okay, we'll do malignant creep as well. We need to cover the entire map with creep. I think that would be awesome. And then I'll go Leviathan again, because it's probably strong. Uh, Alright. Doesn't really matter. Make it quick. Ex speak. Yes, your queen. Enemy forces are moving down the central streets. In really? We start off with a supply block in this mission? Additionally, I've summoned the Dominion fleet to help us, but it'll Amazing. be some time before they arrive. Once Maybe the, the Brute Lords are heavier in supply or something? No problem blasting through the Teldering. Ultralisk reconstituted. Ultimate expression of swarm evolution. Yeah, you think so? I don't know about that, Avatar. Okay, we need to really spread creep though. I need the whole map covered in creep ASAP. What is it? Loco, you may not like it, but this is peak Zurich evolution. Yeah. A lot of resources out in the map as well. These brutes are actually much faster oh. than conventional brutes. Okay. I'll focus on Hydra and Paler first, see if that goes well. Dude, this creep is pretty malignant. <laughs> yes. Taldarine immortals are advancing on our position. Okay. They'll carve through our forces unless we stop them. Get him, Kerrigan. We should give Kerrigan a crowbar. <laughs> Yo, don't make her too overpowered. Didn't I go double evo? Pretty sure I did. Okay, spawn the Leviathan. What is it? Mm -mm -mm. Our forces are 
Okay. I've ordered the defenders of man to build up their fortifications in the side streets. The Taldarim will probably strike these areas soon. Trying to There's spread as much creep welcome. as I can. My scans show Taldarim void rays gathering for an attack from the left. Okay. What is it already? Du no time like the present. Make it quick. Our forces are under attack. Think that'll be enough for Wait. now. We'll continue getting upgrades here as well. Yes. No. And I'll start making my actual units. Because up to this point I haven't. Carrigan, why are you not over there? Good. Gonna go for the lurker den over here. Yes. You yes. What if the fight begins? So the units deal more damage when they're on creep. The Taldarim's attacks are intensifying. Our outer defenses won't last unless we permanently station reinforcements there. Should the perimeter fall, the Protoss attack forces can converge. I got overlords coming. I heard they were on the verge of a break. Not bad. Okay. I think this is a little bit nicer now. We'll try and continuously spend our money here as well. Keep up the macro. Our Gorgon class battle cruisers are particularly effective against heavy resistance. Give the call and I'll command Uh, 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 I need to push a little bit further up. The spines are dealing quite a bit of damage over here. Not bad. I want to have some impalers over there. Need quite a bit of gas now, though. I guess that's because of those uh, things I just bought. A group of immortals is approaching the central entrance to our base. Call down a gorgon if you can. Okay. Doing it. Hmm, that's doing quite well over there. Want to continuously get these upgrades though. I don't actually have as many upgrades as I'd like to have. Couple impalers in every area. Speak. Yes. 
Okay. You have my attention. The high cluster is under attack. Speak. You have my attention. Make the speak. You have to be careful that I gon don't get too carried away with anti-ground. I need some units in every single one of these choke points, but... Don't need a gajillion of a meter. Okay. So far, this is not bad. Mostly concerned, I guess, for these big attack waves with the Void Rays and stuff. Because I don't have a lot of supply available to deal with those. Okay. I don't know how that works, uh, the Wrath Walkers here. There's a new swarm host, okay. Maybe the impalers are gonna be able to reach it? The impellers are a bit scary, but nothing amazing against the uh, Wrath Walkers. Zerklings are pretty good. Okay. All of this seems to be under control. Putting down spore crawlers around the map as well. Okay. The remainder of the Dominion fleet has reached our position, Emperor. Whoa, I never put any units over there. Sure they fill in the weak points in our defenses. You should also transfer General Davis to one of the brigs. She must be kept under maximum guard, no matter what happens. Of course. I'll see to it. Well, Horner, will you now? Huh? Will you now, Horner man? I actually don't have a lot of drones. <laughs> I have like no drones. Not horrible. Okay. Ah, supplies overrated. What are workers good for? Workers can't even fight. They don't even do, really do any damage. Yeah. 
I also haven't really used my Gorgon battle cruisers at the top very much. Okay, I think I'm gonna go ahead. Oh, I can't save, obviously. I'm gonna go ahead and use my cooldown. Whoa, what just happened? I think I just teleported forward somehow. There's a mama ship. Get him, Gorgon man. Gargan herself tanking an awful lot of damage there. Okay, I have moved some units now to that one weak spot that we still had. Hello. Oh. Maybe I don't need to go that far. What race? A little annoying. We gotta protect the Terran from the Protoss as the Zerg. It's really a beautiful campaign, dude. This really shows you what's possible with the power of love. When you work together, you can achieve anything. You can even stop the Protons. Man, these things are pretty good, aren't they? Just like my multiplayer matches now, at least in the last patch. At least in the last, you know, not, not current patch, I guess. Uh, things are not looking as hot anymore. We're still looking pretty hot now. I still have my, my top bar abilities. I'm not really using them too much, but... It's only a few units remaining. But it up, up, up. This whole time, Alarak has been testing me. I will not fail. Janara is leading the rest of the Death Fleet toward us. No mercy. All right. I think that's the final wave. I just need to stop that one. I don't believe we'll be fine. I was bringing in two Hydras at a time against all those Void Rays. I was. What are you insinuating right now? Are you saying two Hydras should not 
be winning against eight void rays? I can't believe this. Blasphemy. Loco reading chat. Oh, sorry. I, I'm sorry. I, I will never do it again. Honestly, streamers that read chat kind of cringe. Am I right? Chat. Oh wait, no. Here's the last unit. Alright, I had to get a little sweatier there. Maybe I got a bit too sweaty. Creep spread good! Taldarim casualties are high. We forced them to accept Ooh. defeat. There were losses on our side as well. Recall our ships, Horner. We need to get back to Core Hall. One of the ships isn't responding. The Medusa. <gasps> they had Davis in custody. No. What? I'm going to handle this personally. No way. We should talk about the shirt situation. What shirt? You mean the shirts you can pick up at www.loco.shop? I agree. We should talk about that, Elaris. End game. Final mission. Casual sellout. Wait, what do you mean? Is that not what we're talking about? Oh. Well, I mean, you can go to loco.shop and pick yourself up a shirt. It's pretty cool, dude. We ship worldwide. You can even get a hat. Look at that. You can get it in pink if you want to. Oh, yeah. This is a new feature, by the way. Loco is currently live on Twitch. You can gift this product to lucky viewers who watch the stream. I don't know how this works. That is not a sellout. I'm just... Anyways, uh, it's a new feature they, they enabled recently. Now, if you want to support the channel, pick it up. Sure, there's an easy way to do so. You can, if you want to. You don't have to. The final mission. Which one is the final mission in this campaign again? Should probably pick some different ones, huh? I think the way it works... Oh, the giant mech? The Balias? Ah, right. I think the way it works with the gifting of merch items is that it's gonna raffle it away in chat and you can choose to participate if you want to. And then I think the winner gets to enter their, like, information on the website. And like what they have and what they want to get and stuff. Which is actually kind of cool. At least in theory it sounds really cool. I just haven't seen it executed or, you know. Um, I think we should probably be playing active Kerrigan. Probably a good idea. I'll need a lot of units. In this mission we will be pushing a lot more rather than defending. So I think we can actually play Ultras and Banelings and stuff. Yeah. Vile Roaches. We can get the Lurker Strain as well if you want to. Adrenal Overload. Let's get some healing on the Ultras as well with their Tissue. Assimilation. Mend is nice. We'll go Vespian Efficiency. And we'll select Brutal. Alright. The Cerro shipyard is a strategic point for the Dominion. Gorgon battlecruisers are repaired here after taking damage in combat. The shipyard's coordinates are classified, but Davis is aware of them. And the top-ranking defenders still support her. It looks like she left her ship to activate the Xanthos. It's an experimental war machine with an array of heavy assault weapons. The Xanthos features prototype armor. It's not the Balius. No. Attacks. But if you target its weapons individually, you can bring them offline and force her retreat. The Xanthos will be vulnerable to attack while it's repairing. They'll likely retreat to a secure area during the process. Breaking through their fortifications and striking then is your best chance to destroy it. Okay. 
Thank you for explaining to us how to destroy the Terran. Terran? Your queen speak. Yes. My queen. I want to go Ultra Ling. I think Ultra Ling would be fun. Don't know if it's good, but I want to give it a try. The previous mission didn't really work very well. I don't know if it's going to work here either, honestly. Oh, snap! Wait, it works? Okay, so sorry. So this is, yeah, fourth wall is the company that does the distribution and all of that for the shirt. So this is how it works. Fourth wall, new giveaway, enter to win. Sysadmin gifted a loco TV or loco uh, logo T to the chat. Just enter in the next 180 seconds for a chance to win. That's really cool. You almost banned it. All right, Echo. I think it gave itself moderator privileges. Yeah, it did. <laughs> That's cool. So I think you got... Um, oh, you get a T, not a TV. You get a T-shirt. <laughs> Sweet. Free TV. <laughs> no, sorry. This is like a t-shirt cannon at a sporting event? Exactly, dude. We'll handle her. Thank you, sysadmin. Did I just block my own base? I didn't. Very nice, Loco. Well done. You're shirtless right now? Well, I say, that, that means you need a shirt, right? I hope for everyone's sake, Argyle wins. <laughs> Alright. We stopped the attack wave. So, who won? Is it gonna announce who wins? Is it three minutes over yet? In before sysadmin got scammed. <laughs> Yo, if you get scammed, sysadmin, please let me know. So I know that, you know, I should disable that feature. <clears throat> it's not announced yet, right? No, no, no. Oh, shit. I forgot about... I was going to say the back door, but I'm not going to say that because, you know, I wouldn't hear the end of it. I lost my overlords. That's pretty bad. Ooh, at haunt a one sysadmin's gift of a loco T. Go to loco.shop slash redeem to redeem. Oh, dude, that's cool. So it was just granted to haunt O2, and he has to verify it with his Twitch account to claim his prize. That's really sick. You demand a recount? No, no. Cool. Poor Argyle. Still without a shirt. That is actually cool. Like, all jokes aside, that's a really fun feature. Oh snap. I don't really have much of an army at this point. I was hoping to have my cooldown available. But I think this is okay too. Okay. 
good. Keeping the first objective alive is actually kind of tricky when you're making only drones. Garrigan's abilities are super strong, though. They're similar to Nova's, but uh, they just seem to deal more damage. Another bit of proof that Zerk is overpowered, Blizzard. Okay, gonna use my drop pods. Oh, <laughs> hello. Speak. You have my Admiral Horner here. My ship is hello, Admiral. How are you doing? Actually, no. I'll go to. Nice. You have my make it. All right. I don't think uh, Horner has really done a whole lot so far. That's not his name. That is not his name. It's Horner. Common misconception. I'm sure he's been bullied with that since childhood. Can't believe you guys continue onwards with the trauma, but... Twitch chat are bullies confirmed. Hello. I can't believe this. Okay, uh, don't have much of an army. But what I do have is Kerrigan, so, you know. Hey, that's awesome, Hunt. You got a shipping date already? Very nice. And I got a notification on my phone that you did. I've actually, um, to people that have entered their nicknames, I can send a thank you message, like a personal thank you message directly, which is kind of cool. So I got a notification on my phone from, uh, look, I can actually show you. I got like a notification on my phone that someone has um, bought a shirt. In this case, it says Mr. Haunt, and then I can send a thank you video. Right away, which is kind of cool. Actually, for you, I apparently can't. I think it's probably because it's a, a gifted one, but um, I've sent quite a few uh, thank you videos, which takes like one second to do. They've made like a dedicated app. So it gives me notifications when someone picks someone up or something up, and it allows me to send them a direct video, like a, like kind of like a, a Facebook or like an Instagram story type of thing. Make it quick. Yeah, it's kind of cool. I switched um, merch partner some time ago because the previous one wasn't so good. And this one has been amazing. Very nice features. But I think you have to like enter your nickname or at the very least like tick a box that you want to get it. Because otherwise I don't think it shares that in the, any of that information with me. Uh, oh, Kerrigan? No! That's like the only one that should not die. Okay, I've just made like a dozen more ultras. That will solve my problem, I'm sure. Ultra's actually not bad. I mean, it's interceptors, I guess, killing me, right? Okay, they're still pretty bad, but, you know... <laughs> I expected him to be worse. Oh, there you go. You know what? You can work with that. Okay. I think Horner is gonna do another attack here in a moment. They should put that on multiplayer. They really should. 
Your queen make it quick. Mass Ultra. Or I mean Ultra. Serral says Ultra, so it's Ultra. Hyperion inbound. We're ready to see some more action. Speak. Yes. <laughs> Don't argue with the goat. Exactly. Excellent. If Serral says Muda, it's Muda. If Serral says Ultra, it's Ultra. That's how that goes. Thank you very much, Flying Lurker. Gifting a sub to Edzilla. Got my cooldown available again, too. Overwhelming. General Davis. I don't know how those Zerklings got over there. There's an Ultra as well. Uh, Ultra, sorry. Keep pushing. So many Ultras are a little derp. Uh, there is a nuclear launch detected on the ramp, boys. Everyone back off. Except for those of you that are already on the high ground. You never know with those campaign nukes. Some of them lent within like half a second. <laughs> okay. Gotta go back home. I don't really have any anti-air. Is that a problem? I should probably get a Hydro then at the very least. I can make Mutas? Uh, I don't like Mutas. Yeah, this is a problem. Kerrigan, why are you going like that? Oh no, nuclear launch detected. Where? Oh, okay, I got the ghost. I got the ghost. Money is low, but subbing is worth all the penny. Ooh, if you ever have to unsub, man, please don't feel obligated to. I appreciate the support, but don't, like, you know, put yourself in a weird spot because you're donating money on the internet. Anyways, thank you for the support. I do appreciate it. Oh, you can't unsub any time, man. No, I don't want to be... Uh, I'm definitely not one of those guys who's like, ah, five... I would never say that. I say it as a joke. But, uh... Nah. All the content, 100% free. I mean, if everyone unsub, that would kind of suck, but... <laughs> I get it, man. Economy is not looking too hot right now. I understand. Make it quick. Speak. Okay, uh, uh, uh. spreading a little bit more creep. Getting some more upgrades. Admiral Horner here. Hey, Horner, Horner man. Returning to the front line. Bailinx. Okay, now I'm broke. Maybe I shouldn't be making Bailinx, but it seemed like a fun thing to do. Uh, drop pods in a couple seconds. I think that'll actually be a really good time. I'm going to use it right away. You need to do service on your spring drive. Your proverbial spring drive. I understand the priority. God, those bailings just die. Ah, maybe I should have gone with the jumpy bailings. Oh, we're going the wrong way. 
<laughs> You've just bought a printer for $200? Being an adult is boring, man. One thing you find out as an adult is that everything costs more money than you'd realize. How much can ink cost? Ink to print like 200... Like five do No! Not five dollars! Everything's more expensive than you think it is, for some reason. The best example, and I've brought this up on stream before, but the best example... When I first moved in here, was our front door. Front doors in the Netherlands have to be up to a certain standard because of, you know... Anyways, um... I had to get a new front door. How much can a front door cost? Naive young loco thought. Doors are expensive. If you have one that is like, you know, locking into multiple areas and it's like, you know... They basically have to... Ooh bust the entire, you know, you can't just break in. Anyways. You can easily spend 2,000 bucks on a door. <laughs> Luckily, it was covered by warranty in the end. Because apparently our previous door had a 10-year warranty. I, I didn't know. But you can easily spend 1,500, 2,000 on a door. <laughs> That was the day I realized, okay, you know what? Being an adult, no it's kind of fun, but... It's good on metal. Oh god, I just took a lot of damage. Donation confirmed. Front doors cost like 100 minerals. But you Give or take. forget to put it on hold position. Wait. Oh, it's <laughs> a zealot joke. Hey! There it is. Thank you very much, Killman. You know, you know another scam, an IRL scam? Maybe not a scam. Things like a window, right? Glass in windows, right? Not not your computers, but but like glass. How much can that cost? Can't be that expensive, right? Very expensive. For some reason. I don't really know how they make... I don't know nothing about glass, okay? I don't know how to be an adult. I've just kind of been winging it, and it's been going all right. What about, uh, yes. curtains? New Any, like, window decoration type of stuff? Super expensive. I don't know why. Doesn't sound like rocket science to me. They tell you that it needs to be custom made and all that, but I'm pretty sure all of those window sizes are standard. I don't really know. Bed sheets. Pillows. Hey, thank you very much, name choosing. Gifting a sub to Tadarim Destroyer Ship. I appreciate you. Yeah, your anime body pillow, dude. Heavily infic uh, <laughs> affected by uh, inflation gains recently. It sucks. A lamp. How much can, like,. A lamp costs. Say you want, like, a nice lamp in your living... How much can it cost? Proper first world problems. I get that. But, yeah. Vacuum cleaners? You can... Yeah, you can spend a lot of money on vacuum cleaners. <laughs> I used to think as soon as you turned 18, you would just know what you were doing. That turned out to be a giant lie. I found out everyone's just winging it. Everyone's just trying to make the best of anything. Preliminary scans show some injuries among the crew, but Davis is still alive. However, the communications channels are chaotic. She hasn't spoken since the crash. Oh, no. I'm going to handle this personally. Of course. Here we go. General Davis. 
We need to run to the end. I need answers. I need... Oh. Davis should be just ahead. She seems to be alone. I have made mistakes, and I will pay for them. I know why you're coming here. You think you're going to do the right thing. Got her! Feel the fury of the swarm. Alright, guys. There New it subscriber is. Detected. That was the final mission of the Kerrigan covered ups. Very fun. Yeah. Didn't really run into a whole lot of issues in this one. We had to get a little bit sweaty with a couple of the missions, but overall, this one was smooth sailing, right? Didn't really, yeah, have any significant problems. Um, it's funny because you don't even really notice the difference in using the Terran you units or the Zerg units. Detected. I understand that it's like, you know, a different set of units, but it works really well. Like, Kerrigan is an almost one-to-one -one replacement of Nova, and the Zerg units, yeah, can just replace the, the Terran units, and you can't even really tell that you're playing a different campaign. Works well. I do think that Kerrigan is probably a little bit too strong, though. Yeah, overall, Kerrigan... I mean, it's probably because she's more powerful than Nova. New subscriber but, detected. I mean, it's kind of fun to run the overpowered unit. I mean... I'm already playing Zerk on the ladder, right? So, you know, you probably figured that I enjoy playing the overpowered units, but... Huh. Fun map. Can recommend. Oh, she's called Carrigan? Hey, there it is.